since we're dividing by a binomial, I'm using long division and I've set it up in long division fashion. Notice that for any missing powers, I wrote zero times the x raised to one of those missing powers. In other words, I had 27x cubed minus 8, so I did not have an x squared, I did not have an x, but just to keep things all lined up, I inserted 0x squared plus 0x and then my minus 8. And now we're ready to long divide. What times 3x gives a product of 27x cubed, or you can think of it as 27x cubed divided by 3x gives what? Whichever you're comfortable with. Well, what times 3x is 27x cubed? I know 9 times 3 is 27, and then x squared times x is x cubed, so my first term in my quotient is 9x squared. Let's multiply this times both terms in the binomial. 9x squared times 3x is 27x cubed, just like I want. 9x squared times 2, that's 18x squared. I'll draw my line, and then since I'm subtracting, I change the signs of each term, or every term, in this line. And now 27x cubed minus 27x cubed, that's 0. Then 0x squared minus 18x squared, that's negative 18x squared. I'll write down my other terms, plus 0x minus 8, and let's do the process again. What times 3x is negative 18x squared, or you can think of what is this term divided by this term. Either way, you'll have negative 6x, and let's multiply. Negative 6x times 3x, that's negative 18x squared, just like we want. Negative 6x times 2, that's minus 12x. I'll draw my line. I'm subtracting, which means I change the signs of each term in this line, along this line where I'm subtracting. So I'll have negative 18x squared plus 18x squared, that's 0, just like I want. 0x plus 12x, that's 12x minus 8. We start the process, or we continue the process. By the way, how long do we continue? We continue until the degree of the remainder is less than the degree of the divisor, and that hasn't happened yet. So what times 3x is 12x? That would be plus 4, or again, think of it as 12x divided by 3x. 4 times 3x is 12x like we want. 4 times 2, that's a positive 8. Now be very, very careful here. Draw your line, and then you change signs of each term, because remember, we are subtracting. This becomes minus, and this becomes minus. So 12x minus 12x is 0, but negative 8 minus 8, that is negative 16. So watch for that mistake there. I do have a remainder. I'm through dividing, though, because this degree is less than this, so I can write it as minus 16 over the divisor of 3x plus 2. There is my quotient.